So I just want to stop and interrupt what I'm sharing right now because I'm finding more and more. Pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. When we find something that needs prayer, let's take care of it. Let's ask the eternal God, the one who is self-existent in us, to now let us proclaim a recreative ability to restore and capture back those that are prisoners and that they might be released. Lord, right now. Oh, God. Lord, we pray, Lord, that there will be a reprieve, Lord. Lord, a release of those that are involved in sex trafficking. Lord, help them find their way to be restored to their original purpose of why they were created. Lord, let us hear testimonies of how that you relieved this one and that one from having to do it this weekend because you did a miracle in some way. Oh, Lord. Lord, even by our prayers, oh God, I ask that you would bring forth salvation, bring forth Yeshua this weekend, Lord. Julia, I want you to come and pray, please. Deliver us. You've been delivered. And you can proclaim it. Father God, we know that your word does not return void, but it will accomplish that for which you please and purpose. It will prosper the thing for which you sent it. Amen. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Jesus, oh Lord, your word is true. Jesus, you are the truth and the light, and you are the life. And so, Lord, we thank you with the Holy Spirit, the manifester of those things that are, that, we may not see, but we believe that they are the manifestors. Yes. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you are changing the hearts. You are changing the hearts, Lord, of all those that are involved and steeped and deep into this whole thing. We give it up to you, Lord. We lift it up to you. The perpetrators, the victims, and all of those mixed up in it, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're straightening it all out. We thank you that you're putting order in. We thank you, Lord, that you're giving them insight into what the real purpose is here on earth, Lord. That they are your light brought down to this earth to do a mighty work to bring you glory, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are restoring yes. the lives that you sent in here, yes. restoring yes. your spirit, yes. restoring yes. your life to yes. them in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you for the blood of Jesus yes. around yes. each and every one of those that are working, those that are in the underground yes. world, world, those that are in law enforcement, those yes. that are in the street nights, all those, Lord, those ministries and all those that are out yes. that are setting the Yes. Every one of them free. Lord, we thank you that those hearts are prepared and they're ready to receive yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that we speak to all those stumbling blocks. We speak to those, that veil of darkness, that shrouds of... Lord, we thank you that we speak. Light be to them in the name yes. of Jesus. Light be. Yes. Open up. Open up. Open up. Rain come down. Rain. Wash away yes. that darkness. Yes. Wash it away. Lord, we thank you for the for peace. We thank you, Lord, for truth. We thank you, Lord, that the snare of the fowler is broken. We yes. snare yes. of the fowler is yes. broken. Amen. And Lord, let them soar to the heavenlies. Let them soar as high. Let them swim as deep. Let them know your full freedom, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, we thank you. This is their exodus. Yes. This is our Lord, Lord modern Lord. day exodus Hallelujah. happening Hallelujah. now, now, now. 
Oh, God, I can see good loss. I see. Yes, I Lord, see. Lord, I see. Lord, I see. Exodus. None. Oh, by. Oh, God, now, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the God Almighty. Yes, Lord. Exodus. 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 Modern day Exodus in the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. Oh. They were brought here for right now, for this time. There is no accident that the Super Bowl is in Arizona at this point. This is Exodus. Rivers, rivers flowing in the name of Jesus. Floodgates have been opened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that you give us, each of us, grace, 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 mercy. Let us see through your eyes and hear through your ears and know through your heart the steps to take now, from now from now on, in the name of Jesus. Oh, they could have said, I'm not that dread, they're bloody men. Oh, could I have seen them? Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, doesn't it say that he can do nothing until he reveals his secrets to the prophets? Yes. So when we release that secret revelation that he's making known from his heart, he can do it. He's released to do it here on the prophet. God can do anything. But one thing he can't do is break covenant, and he can't break his promises, and he can't take back what he's already given Okay, so looking down here, well, first of all, I want to point over to you on the right side of Philippians 2. Yahweh became what we are, the human kind, so that we could become what he is, the divine kind. Ah, I love that. Julia, I'd like you to paint a picture somehow of that happening. I'm seeing a picture of Michael Washer that he did. And it's man spinning around, and he's becoming the, a Torah scroll. Uh, looks down below there, though. Yeshua, Jesus, is Yahweh in the flesh. To say that Jesus Christ is Lord is to confess him as Adonai, or Jehovah himself. Mm -hmm. According to the New Testament, salvation is experienced only by changing your mind. You accept him as Savior, right? You believe in him. Mm -hmm. And you make the confession that he is now your Savior. You, you receive what he accomplished for us on the cross. Just by saying that, you are saying what you believed and that you've changed your mind, and it's the first level of really changing from glory to glory. Oh, I like that. I, I, I say that because, you know, who gets ministered to the most is me. And I, when I say some things, I'm like, Did I, I didn't say that. That's... Somebody write that down. <laughs> because I get so tickled with what God says while I'm teaching. It's amazing. And, and it's not because uh, I'm going like this. It's that I'm just enjoying it so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to skip down because we've had a lot of teaching about him being our atonement. He being our kapara. He is co he's the covering, just like on the atonement seat and so forth. If you look down there at the bullets, it talks about those places where there is the acknowledgement that Jesus is salvation, that his name brings salvation. And those are things that you can study on your own time. I want you to go ahead and go to the second sheet now. Jesus is Jehovah. Jehovah is the common English translation of Jehovah or Yahweh. One reason it's important for us to know this, and I mentioned this a while ago, is that because by believing concerning Yeshua's deity as Jehovah, or as Yahweh, Jesus is Jehovah, is because this sets him apart as very God and very man. 
He didn't just come to be a good man. He didn't just come to be another one of us. He came to show us how to allow the Father to live in and through us, just as he is the representation, the physical form that housed God. We get that same opportunity. God is in me. If you ask one of the little children that have been in Sunday school, where does Jesus live? In my heart. Right? They, we don't really teach our children that Jesus lives way, way far ahead in heaven, but he's with us, right? He's in us, and that's what it talks about all throughout the New Covenant. Okay, go on down with me to the second paragraph there. Without sin, nothing separated Jesus from his divine image. With this assurance, we can give an answer to every man for the hope that is within us. For example, the Jehovah Witnesses state in their publications, such as Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, that Jesus is not Jehovah. Isn't it funny that a religion that says that Je they're Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that Jesus is Jehovah? But we do. He's the everlasting one. We can read all of the scriptures in the New Testament that Jesus was here from the foundations of the earth. And that's what I had a little bit of in the beginning of this lesson. Now look with me at Hebrews 2 that I have here for you. Love to read the whole chapter with you, but I want you to especially read the bold and italicized at verse 14. Now since the children have flesh and blood in common, he also shared in this. In other words, Jesus could feel our infirmities. And it says that in Hebrews, the fourth chapter, right? Jesus in all manners was tempted like us. He was fully man, but he was all, also fully God. So now since the children have flesh and blood in common, he also shared in these, so that through his death, he might destroy the one holding the power of death. That is the devil. And free those who were held in slavery like we just prayed for the six slaves. Any of those things that can, can find us and brought, um, can, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Imprisonment to us. Verse 16. For it is clear that he does not reach out to help angels, but to help who? Abraham's offspring. That's the children of Israel, but who else is that? That's us, because we are like the stars of the heaven. And we're the prophetic people that are supposed to shine the light and help Israel see who Messiah is. Therefore, he had to be like his brothers in every way, so that he could become the merciful and faithful high priest in service to God to make Propitiation, that also means atonement, that word propitiation. To make propitiation for the sins of the people. The people that had been separated from God, he was the one that was supposed to hook us back as above. He's supposed to hook us back to the throne of God so that we could be, fulfill our divine purposes as we were created in his image. As we were created in his image, we weren't just created to be flesh and blood here on this earth. There's something of the eternal God within us that also is to have the form and the fashion and the fortitude of who he is. That fortitude, I believe, is his name. For the righteous run into the name of the Lord. The righteous run into the fortress of the Lord. The righteous run into that strength. For he encapsulate us, encapsulates us. He surrounds himself around us. For since he himself was tested and has suffered, he is able to help those who are tested. Or other words that we could slip in there is those that are tempted, those that are traumatized, those that are going through tribulation. He was tested. He faced everything that we faced so that we could respond like he responded.